Today I'll be testing the Arctic um, Freezer 13 multi-compatible CPU tower cooler on my uh, computer and my computer has a uh, i7 10700KF processor in it and I installed this uh, CPU heatsink on my uh, computer and I'm going to test to see if these claims are accurate or not of a um, freezer 13 running at 20 or 2000 RPMs getting about 36.3 degrees Celsius so here it goes so as you can see let me uh, get afterburner and show you how it's running. That's the GPU temperature. That's 97 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using Fahrenheit. However, I could convert it back to Celsius if I wanted to. So, uh, so this computer has eight cores with hyperthreading. So I should have 16 CPUs with CPU one, two, three. Four, five. So CPU one, two, five is at about eighty-three degrees Fahrenheit. Dodgers are at about eighty-six to ninety-one. CPU sixteen is at ninety degrees. So that, let's see what that is in Celsius. So I'm going to go here. Change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius for those of you who are not familiar with the English system. Those who are more familiar with SI system, system international, so uh, metric system, uh, so 30 degrees Celsius. It's about 28 to 30 degrees Celsius, up to 36 in some cases. So let's say roughly anywhere from 29 to about 34 degrees Celsius, which is not too bad this claim of it being about 46.3 degrees celsius under load is is accurate however i'm going to test it out i'm going to run some applications and see if if it if it exceeds this temperature or if it stays about this temperature or stays below this temperature so I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna run some games see how it see what the results are something fast, the enemy will win. We no longer have the advantage. Allied forces have captured a zone.
winning. We must counterattack. the advantage anymore. Playing War Thunder Naval Battles. Gonna check out the temperature. So the GPU temperature was 
projecting as high as 61 degrees, 66 degrees, or 68 degrees Celsius. Let's check the CPU temperature. We got highs of 69 degrees Celsius, as high as 80. So average temperature stayed at about 51, 54. Spiked to 67. The highest being about 80 degrees Celsius in some instances. So I want to get the lower limit and the upper limit. Upper, 80 degrees Celsius. Lower, about 47 degrees Celsius. And now the temperature went down to about 35, 34 to 37 degrees Celsius. So this cooler is working pretty good, in my opinion. It was a little bit difficult to install. I think I also have the same exact cooler in my um, i7-4790K uh, computer, base computer which I built in uh, late 2014. That also has the same CPU cooler. So um, that um, the socket for the i7-4790K is uh, I think it's socket 1150 so um, the mounting holes for heat sinks is the same for 1155 1150 and socket 1200 which is this current computer that I'm using right now so it should be it's, it's the exact same cooler basically so um, I'm pretty pleased with the results on my i7 90 sorry i7 uh, 10.0700k computer so let me go to device manager So here's device manager. So the CPU is indeed a i7 10.0700KF at 3.8 gigahertz. I think the maximum gigahertz with turbo, let me see what that is. I don't really remember. However, I can find it on here. I got this instead of the K because um, this was actually available and the K wasn't because uh, the K has a graphics card in it so a graphics adapter built into the CPU this one does not so that's the only difference but it didn't really matter because I already had several GPUs available so base frequency is 3.8 gigahertz and the turbo frequency is 5.10 gigahertz so it definitely can run at those speeds if it needs the speed so turbo frequency will kick in so this okay now i'm testing it on my uh i7 4790K base computer and I'll show you that it is indeed an i7 4790K computer as you can see right here the processor
chose it as that. And this computer has a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 video card. And uh, right now I'm editing a video. As you can see right here. So the CPU is being fully ut uh, utilized right now. Temperature. My GPU's temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And my CPU is hovering around 115 degrees Fahrenheit to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And let me convert that to Celsius. Celsius is 50 degrees. It's hovering around anywhere from 51 degrees to 57 degrees Celsius. So about 41 to 55 to 58 degrees Celsius. This is not too bad. And this computer has the same uh, heat sink as the i7-10700 KF computer, which I showed earlier. Convert back to Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit. So these temperatures, these temps aren't that bad. running pretty good. Video editing does require a lot of CPU power. Let's see how much CPU power is being utilized here. About 52 to 59 percent and it's running at full speed at 4.37 gigahertz. So the core frequency is 4 gigahertz and with turbo um, it's about 4.4 um, gigahertz and right now it's running at full speed as you can see so um, in conclusion, the Arctic Freezer 13 CPU heatsink is, I think it's, I think it's running pretty good. It's, um, plus I'm recording this uh, screenshot with the computer, with this computer, so it's, it's using some more CPU power. And um, this, my CPU is really working hard right now. So um, I'm surprised that the temperatures are staying around like 120 to 129 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is which is pretty good. And when I use a stock cooler on another computer which was also an i7 the i7 4790 not the K but just the 4790 I got about maybe 105 degrees Fahrenheit on idle so this is pretty good because this is running at uh, at load so this is a pretty good cooler. So anyways, thanks for